Okay, so you can't really see, but I got the, um, it's not a very large serving, but it's the Buffalo, what are they called? Let me look at my receipt. I want to get the name right. Buffalo chicken uh, nacho fries. And then I got a couple of the $1 chicken quesadillas that they sell, and then I got one of these, like, chicken power bowls. Uh, and their mediums right now are on sale for a dollar, so, um, I got two medium Baja Blasts because, you know, a bitch gets thirsty when she eats all this salty fast food. Like, I love fast food, don't get me wrong. I love Taco Bell in particular, but, um, it's salty, so we're just gonna do what we do. So I think it has, um, pico de gallo, because there's, like, tomatoes and shit. And then there's what looks like sour cream, and there's nacho cheese, I think, and um, there's also sprinkled cheese. And I think there's like, um, unless that's part of the pico de gallo, like um, onions or something. I'm checking in here too, obviously. You know? Really good. The first little bite I got had chicken in it, but this one didn't, but it was still really good. If you've never tried their nacho fries, like, this is what's up. Taco Bell was a fucking habit, though. I hate people that get mad and say, oh, Taco Bell isn't real Mexican food. No shit. It's Tex-Mex or Americanized Mexican food at best. And they do it well. Also, if you argue about that, I have to remind you, you're arguing about a place that you, you know... People go there when they're high as hell. People go there when they're drunk at 2 a.m. You know. And there's nothing wrong with that. Their food is still bomb. But. You can't take it too seriously. You know what I mean? You can't go all caring about it. The reason I got the Power Bowl is because it has a little bit more vegetables and a little bit more substance to it. Um, I went from weighing like 310 to 306, and I don't expect to drop a lot of weight at once, but I would like to ease into it and then slowly, you know, since I do want to lose weight, because let's be honest, I fucking need to. For anyone that's ever come and visited my channel and insulted my weight, here's the thing. This is what gets old. If somebody has a zit on their face, you don't walk up to them continuously and say, Oh, you have a fucking zit. You should see a dermatologist because that thing's not going away. But when somebody's overweight, people feel the need to say, Oh, you're fucking fat. You need to go to the doctor. You need to go to the gym. You need to... People that are fat are well aware that they're fat, regardless if it's something they control or not. I also want to get my thyroid looked at because I honestly do not know if I do have a problem. You know, I could have a thyroid problem or whatever because... I say that because the weight that I gain, okay, and I've been kind of bigger my whole life, but for the way that I eat and my stature and all that, I, I've i never had a lot of, like, you know, knock on wood, blood pressure problems or blood sugar problems or, you know, I have depression and I get fatigue, but I don't have, you know, the problems that most people would associate with being obese, which is what I'm considered. I also want to lose weight so that I don't get those problems. And some of you probably think that I'm going to eat this, it's going to bound me up for three days. No. There's a magic trick for when I'm eating Taco Bell. If I order anything with nacho cheese... In about two hours, it's going to fly out of my colon. Well, actually, in about an hour. Or 
45 minutes. It's all gonna fly out of my colon like a fucking paint gun. Which is fine, because I don't mind diarrhea. I don't mind... Here's the thing. I would rather be, like, puking sick than coughing and hacking sick. A, because every time I've ever been, like, throw up sick and, and diarrhea sick, it doesn't last as long as when I'm, like, coughing and hacking sick. B, when you throw up and you puke, you feel like, then you get the shits. You, you feel cleaned out, you know? And you know that for the most part, most of the bacteria or whatever it was is fucking gone. You are in bed for days when you were, like, coughing, hacking sick. Hacking up shit, and the bacteria is still in your fucking body. I'm probably going to eat this and then a quesadilla and call it a day and then eat the Power Bowl some other time because it's a lot of food. And this, this didn't seem like a big serving, but now that I'm eating it, like, yeah, it's pretty decent sized. Um, because have you ever like gotten food in one day you can eat like a fuck ton of food? And I should mention that the last time I ate was probably at four in the morning and I had most of a ham sandwich and a couple Hershey kisses through like after that. I didn't drink anything of substance either. I think I only had, like, water. So, like, up until now, I haven't had anything since, like, four or five. And, yeah, like... I'm also trying to eat my food really slowly because I want to actually give it time to like sit in my stomach and absorb and you know turn into like something that'll hold me over instead of just like rushing it down my palate. I also don't know if you guys can even hear me. I'm talking pretty loud, and I'm in a confined space, because the mic on my phone doesn't really pick me up. If I wear my headphones, it picks me up, but it sounds like I'm speaking into one side. Um, this is really good, actually. It's the buffalo chicken um, nacho cheese fries. Um, or nacho fries from Taco Bell. Not sponsored. Never been sponsored. I recently went on my channel settings and finally adapted my channel so that none of my videos should be recommended for kids. And if you're five and have your age set to 18, you're a piece of shit and your mother should have aborted you. There, I fucking said it. Your mother's a horrible parent, and you're a piece of shit child. There's like only a few bites of stuff here. You know what's interesting if I go out with my boyfriend? I got to eat. Like, I'll be starving before we get to wherever we're going. Because I'll try not to eat all day. Because, like, I I don't want to go there and then only eat half my food. Because then I feel like I'm ungrateful, you know? If he takes me out to dinner. Uh. Mm. 
But more importantly, I just feel like when you go out to eat, it should be rare. And then when you do, you should, like, pick out. I ate it all in, like, ten minutes. Maybe under, because I think I started eating after the video started, but... Yep. Um, I wanted to make sure I completely ate these, because, um... They were, like, the thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to call this video a taste test. And no, I'm not one of those people that's gonna eat something and think it's amazing and go, Oh my god, I'm shook! Like, yes! I am shook. Okay, they are really fucking good. Ten out of ten would recommend. But if you don't like buffalo stuff or you don't like spicy stuff, ten out of ten would not recommend. I'm gonna eat one of these really quick. I'm gonna eat this until later. Because again, that's a lot of fucking food to consume in a small period of time. Um and a lot of time that's what I, that's what I even do when I go out with my boyfriend. Like I'll eat my food and then halfway through I'm like full. So then I have food for like the next day or like dinner that night or whatever. They used to make these out of one small tortilla with a little bit of stuff in the middle. They probably have more stuff in the middle of them now, but they also have a lot more tortilla to get through. Anyway, you guys, I'm eating this just to kind of cool down my mouth. Because that is pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy buffalo. And it's like the perfect amount of like buffalo and tangy. You know what I mean? Like the perfect amount of like tangy buffalo-ness and then hot, you know? I'm gonna go now, guys. I appreciate you watching my channel. Thank you for spending some time with me. Um, God bless and peace out.